Hi, I'm Madison, Enablement Manager at Builder. In today's Builder 101 course, we're looking at how Builder separates and organizes your users and content. Understanding the concepts of how Builder's organizations, spaces, and environments work together lays the groundwork for effective, collaborative content management and development. Organizations. This is the top-level entity in a Builder account and acts as a central hub to manage users, billing, and spaces. It's your private content island. All content in an organization is siloed from other organizations. When you first sign up for Builder, an organization is automatically created. Organizations allow you to manage users, view usage insights, access API keys, and handle subscription and billing details, etc. Typically, a company operates with a single organization under which multiple spaces can be managed. But if you're an agency partner, you may be working with a handful of clients' organizations at any given time. Spaces. If the organization is a building holding your content, think of each space as a separate floor within the building. Each space is a dedicated content repository with its own API key. It's a workspace for cross-functional teams to collaborate on a specific project or application. Within a space, you manage models, content entries, various plugins and integrations, and the users who can interact with that data. Users in an organization are added to specific spaces, and that user's role and permissions are assigned per space. You could have a designer role in one space and be just a contributor in another. Spaces are typically linked to a single code base or application, allowing developers to manage code and marketing team members to handle content creation. But a multi-regional implementation may want a separate space for each country or region's domain, or a large enterprise site where separate teams manage wholly separate sections of the app, may consider a space per team. For the most part, content isn't shared or linked between spaces, but Builder does provide a concept of global symbols, which are set at the organization level and accessible to all spaces. Check out our docs for more on symbols. Builder doesn't prescribe how to use spaces to separate your content. Consider your business requirements and create a plan that works for you and your team. Environments. Available in all enterprise plans, Environments are specialized subspaces where you can develop, test, and stage your content and code independently from your main production environment. This setup supports mirroring typical deployment environments like dev, QA, and prod, aligning your content creation with your production lifecycle. Environments allow you to publish and test changes without affecting your production site and encompass features like live sync for real-time synchronization across environments. Both models and content entries can be linked to the main environment or unlinked for environment-specific entries during testing or content creation before pushing back to the main environment. Side note, digital assets, the images, logos, and videos that you upload into your space are shared between environments and must be uploaded in the main environment. So let's recap. An organization in Builder is the overarching structure that encompasses all your content management activities. It provides centralized control over user access, financial aspects, and is your content creation hub. Spaces are distinct content repositories within an organization, each with its own set of permissions and API access. They allow teams to focus on specific projects, providing a tailored environment for collaboration and content creation. Environments offer a way to segregate content and code for different stages of development and testing. This enterprise tier feature enables teams to refine and validate changes before implementing them in the live production setting, ensuring a smoother and more controlled content deployment process. Each of these components offers a layer of organization, access control, and workflow management, ensuring that your team can efficiently work on content and application updates. Now that we've covered orgs, spaces, and environments at a high level, let's look at the builder interface to see where these concepts live in the platform. When you log in, you're going to land in the last space you were in. 
Most of the time you're in here to create, modify, and or publish content anyways. So this makes sense. You can switch between spaces you have access to here in the breadcrumb menu. If your space has environments enabled, you can switch between the environments you are assigned to as well. To get to your organization, you can click the org button in the breadcrumb menu here. This is where you can manage and create new spaces, handle user access, set up single sign-on, view billing invoices, etc. And that's all there is to it. Knowing how Builder organizes your spaces, users, and content is an important first step to managing your Builder account. With this knowledge, you're well-equipped to streamline your workflow from idea to production. Happy building!